This week's Song Surgeon Weekly Tip continues a conversation we started last week in the Song Surgeon Newsletter where we were talking about audio sound quality. And just as a refresher, if you didn't see that, what I was telling folks is that we've received emails recently from a couple of folks who have told us that the sound quality that they hear in Song Surgeon is better than some of the high-end editing and recording software that they've used. For instance, Cubase and Sony's SoundForge are two high-end programs that sell for hundreds of dollars and people have reported back to us telling us that when they use Song Surgeon, the sound quality that they hear when they make key or tempo changes is better. Um, and I'm not surprised about that because we knew when we developed version 3 that one of the things that we had in mind was to completely change out the sound engine to give you this extremely high quality sound and I'm happy and pleased to hear that people are recognizing that. So with that as a backdrop let's talk today just briefly because it really isn't a long conversation about this little button down here in the lower left hand corner of Song Surgeon. It is the algorithm button or the PT button as it is often called and if you hover your mouse over top of it, um, you should see a little tools tip come up that will tell you whether you're in the P mode or the T mode. For example, um, the T mode stands for transcribe and the P mode stands for um, performance. So when we're in the transcribe mode, essentially what that means is that the transcribe algorithm preserves transient sounds better. Therefore, it is something that if you're changing tempo or key significantly, you need to be using this because this will enhance and preserve your sound quality. So I use sort of a cutoff of about 15%. So if you're plus or minus 15% of the original key or the original tempo, um, you should be using the performance algorithm. If you are more than that, if your changes are more extreme than that, let's say you're down to 50 or 40 or 30 percent, then you need to be using the transcribe algorithm and that will give you the better sound quality there. So it really does depend on the type of change that you're making. But if you're a performer and you're only changing something by a half step in either direction or a few percentage points on the tempo in either direction, then you definitely want to be using the performance algorithm. And if you're a transcriber or just someone who's practicing a song and you're slowing it down significantly, then you want to be using the, uh, the transcribe algorithm. And so that's really the difference between these two. One last thing that I'll mention, and that is that the transcribe algorithm takes a lot more system resources than the performance algorithm. So if you have an older computer or if you have a computer that is a little short on memory and this might especially be the case with Vista machines because they're memory hogs you might want to just consider using only the performance algorithm because it's a lot less CPU intensive and I think that it will help you if you're having performance problems with those types of machines that are older that have smaller CPUs or lower amounts of RAM uh, so that's another difference between the two that you might want to just keep in mind as you use them so that's going to conclude this uh, weekly uh, tip for Song Surgeon. Thanks for listening. Bye.